In July 2009, the attack by Iraqi forces on Camp Ashraf left 11 people killed, almost 100 wounded, many of them severely, and 36 people who had been captured and hunger strike for 72 days. I think what has been most important is the amount of support the residents of Camp Ashraf have succeeded in getting from the international community, from the European Union by way of our petition and our motion, from the United States Congress, and from individual member states as well. But I want to say to the people of Camp Ashraf, have courage, stay with it. You are a very important and potent symbol of resistance for the Iranian people. The manner in which you have managed to garner international support for your cause and your independence should be an indication and a hope for people in uh, Iran who at present are very much subject to the terrorist regime that is currently the current Iranian government. What I can say is this, collectively at European level, as members of the European Parliament, we see that the fight has still to be carried on. And what are we fighting for? We're fighting for two things independence and proper protection by the United Nations for the residents of Camp Ashraf, for you people. And secondly, we are fighting for a proper, independent, humanitarian government in Iran, which the residents of Iran and the people of Iran do not have at present. So you have our support, you have our encouragement, and we are with you all of the way along the road.